We all know that backing up your computer is essential to preventing data loss. If you have anything on your computer that resembles important data, you really should be backing up. There are no if, ands, or buts about it. Now, I just do what I like to call a manual backup where I just add the files that I want backed up to my backup manually because I feel that that gives me more granular control over my backups. But I get that most people wouldn't really like that approach, and that's understandable. Most Windows users find themselves using the built-in backup and restore feature in Windows, and if you're a Windows user that's new to Linux, you might be wondering what backup tool should I use? Well, in Ubuntu anyway, there's actually a backup tool pre-installed called Deja Dup, and it has a nice and simple interface. It's pretty easy to use, you just open it up, select create a backup, and then choose your backup location, whether you want it on the cloud or on local media. And then when you need to restore from your backup, just click restore backup. And once you've set it up, it'll do backups automatically for you. And it'll also encrypt your backups, which I would definitely recommend doing for what I hope are obvious reasons. And then when you need to restore from your backup, you just Go into it, click restore, select the files that you want to restore, and off you go. But without further ado, I'm going to show you how to use Deja Dub. All right, so what I have here is a virtual machine install of Ubuntu. And what I've done is put a couple files on the desktop, namely this test file and my previous video, which is how to set up a Minecraft server with plugins or mods. And you will also notice that I've switched to a dark theme. But anyway, let me show you the tool. So if I go into all my applications here, it's in utilities, and it's just backups. Now again, this tool actually comes pre-installed on Ubuntu, so I didn't just go install this. But anyway, the first time you open it, it'll allow you to create a backup or restore from a previous backup. So I'm going to create my first backup. And by default, it'll just backup your home folder, which is where your data actually gets stored. And it actually allows you to choose folders to ignore. Like, I don't think I'd really want to back up the trash. Downloads, I actually do store some stuff in there, so I do want that backed up. And you can also add folders by clicking on this plus button and then navigating to the folder that you want and then clicking add. But anyway, I'm going to click forward and you can choose a storage location. Normally I'd choose cloud storage, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do this one terabyte drive that I've set up for this video and then forward. And then it'll prompt you to set an encryption password, which I would recommend, though do bear in mind that if you forget this password, you won't be able to restore from your backup. So I'll go do that. And then you can choose to get it to remember your password, so that way you don't have to keep re-entering it every time you make a backup. Depends on your personal preference. I personally would choose not to, but I am gonna hit forward and it'll go create our backup. So now the amount of time that this'll take depends on how much data you have, but since this is basically a fresh install with a few modifications. Mine won't take nearly as long as yours probably would. There you go, and then once that's done, that dialog will close, and then we can choose to backup automatically. Now, I wouldn't recommend this if you're doing an on-site backup to local media, and if you're doing an off-site backup to a cloud storage service, then you will obviously need an internet connection for that. But anyway, if I come to that drive that I'm using, we can see that it created this folder for us, just for our backups, which is great since I actually have other stuff stored on this hard drive, and then that's where it stores the backups. And obviously, if we wanted to do another backup on demand, we just go back in here and click backup now. And if we come here and then go to our preferences, we can change the location of the backup. Now, I don't really like to keep backups from like over a year ago. I'm someone who prefers to keep the recent ones since the one I'm gonna be restoring from is gonna be the most recent one. So 
I'm gonna change this to at least three months, but it's your personal preference. It's gonna be something that really depends on your needs. And we can also choose our automatic backup schedule. You're someone who might need daily backups, in which case you can change it to daily. And then if we come back to the overview screen, it'll actually adjust our next automatic backup schedule to fit that. And if we come to restore, then it'll actually allow us to restore a previous backup. We've got date options here. We can also just select all of them by hitting Control A and then clicking restore. And I'm not gonna do it on this VM just because there's not really a point since this is the VM that I just backed up, but I'm gonna basically wipe this VM and reinstall Ubuntu and then see if we can restore from this backup. All right, so I've just wiped and reinstalled Ubuntu on this virtual machine to emulate a situation where you would need to restore from that backup. So all we've got to do is go back into our backups application and then restore from a previous backup. And I'm going to select the backup location and the folder name. We don't need to change it because it was named after the name of our old previous installation that we have backed up, and I gave this installation the same name. But I mean, we're gonna search. Okay, and then it'll prompt us to enter our encryption password. Now, if you don't have this, then unfortunately you can't restore from your backup. But anyway, I'm gonna enter the password. And then again, this is an opportunity to get Deja Dup to remember the password if we so chose. I'm not going to, but anyway, I'm gonna hit continue and then it should continue scanning our backup files. There they are. I would like to restore all of them, so I'm gonna control A and then click restore. And let's restore to the original locations. Oh, it's gonna prompt us for our encryption of password again. I guess that's one benefit of getting it to remember the password. But anyway, it's gonna take a little while to copy back our files from our backup back onto our virtual machine. This will take a lot longer on an actual production machine that actually has all your data. Again, this is just a backup of a very lightly used virtual machine, so it won't take nearly as long. Okay, so now it says we could not restore some snap files. Okay, but it looks like we've got our two files on the desktop back. It didn't apply our theme, so we would have to reset that. All right, so now I just opened up that test file and it is still intact, as we can see. And that was my introduction to Ubuntu's backup tool, Deja Dup. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, Hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.